In this video, we're going to take a look at scheduling uh, recurring work again, but this time for type of work that have irregular schedules. We're going to take a look at um, things like lawn care that aren't on a predictable, say, weekly or biweekly schedule, things that happen at different times throughout the year, depending on uh, the weather and the seasonality. So more for lawn care scheduling uh, is what we'll take a look at here. So once again, if you haven't watched the work calendars video, I'd start there. That's going to explain how to set up a non-recurring schedule. So we're not going to, or a recurring schedule. We're not going to cover that again in this video. We're just going to look at how to actually schedule a job to that. If you haven't watched that video yet, go ahead and watch it now. Now we'll pick up for those who have watched it. We'll show you how to schedule a lawn care type or non-regular uh, non type um, schedule for a job. So again, there's three ways to add a job to schedule. You can do it from the whiteboard down on the taskbar. You can do it here on the calendar view down on the taskbar, or you can open the job, go to the schedule tab on the job and add it there. But since we're here already, I'm gonna add this job here. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna say add job to calendar. So what I need to do first is pick the job. So you can search by name or by group, or if you know the job name, you can just drop it down. I've got one set up, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna schedule the Alpha Bank job next. Now, what calendar are you adding this job to? We could be doing any number of things for the Alpha Bank. We could be mowing or pruning or, or doing a construction project. So it needs to know what you are scheduling. In this case, I'm scheduling the lawn care part of this. I've already in the last video that we did the, um, uh, we did the mowing calendar for this job. Now I'm gonna do the lawn care part of this job. So I'm gonna schedule lawn care. Under the tasks, it's showing me all the unscheduled tasks for this job. And then it's also showing me the ones that I've already scheduled. So mowing and trimming, it says, is already on a schedule, which is fine. This job here, we're going to schedule the lawn care right now. So I'm going to pick under unscheduled lawn care. Schedule description. You may want to add a lawn care or something to, to make it very specific on what it is. If there's a work order number, if there's a manager, you can pick that here. Go next. Once again, I can set up a custom schedule. So if I want to go through and new and pick the different dates that I want to do the work, um, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, what might be faster, though, is to use your calendars to set up the different packages people can choose from and then add that here. So I want to get rid of that one. And let's say we're going to give this company the, the premium package. They want the premium lawn care package. It starts on April 15th. On April 15th, we go and we do a, a fertilization one. Now, you may not be going there exactly on April 15th. Most lawn care type work works this way. We know approximately when we can go, but based on weather and seasonality, it may not be exactly on that date. So what you're allowed to do here is you can say, we're going to schedule it on April 15th. We just want to make sure it's not done earlier than April 1st or later than April 29th. And if you drag and drop that scheduled event outside these areas, you're going to get a warning flag. The first thing we're going to do is apply for Elijah. April 30th, we're going to come back and apply grub control. May 13th, we're going to do weed control. May 28th, we're going to do first. You can change these. If I know that, you know, I want to do these on the on the 12th, that's fine. But again, you don't know all these dates up front necessarily at the beginning of the year. So you want to get the approximate date, and you can use these ranges to uh, to make sure you get it done within the range that it's it's specified. Service types, if you haven't watched the service types video, definitely a good idea to watch that. Rather than just scheduling a bunch of visits and not knowing what's happening, what we're actually doing is scheduling a very specific service. So fertilization one, grub control, the first application of weed control, then fertilization two, then compost tea, and so on and so on until we get through our eight visits that's part of this premium package. I'm gonna click next now. And now it's gonna read the job in LMN time and say how many estimated man hours are on this job? How many number of visits am I trying to schedule? And therefore, What's my estimated man hours per visit? And if you need to add or subtract from this, you can always change this estimated man hours. Note that this will change your schedule. It actually isn't going to change your job in element time. You're going to have to do that manually, um, but it will change at least the schedule. And that allows you, some companies give crews different goals than they're actually going to schedule. And so it gives you the flexibility to do that. Uh, planned crew, I'm going to pick my lawn care crew. Planned crew size is one. I got the one guy in my lawn care. If you had more, obviously you could, you could change that. Productive hours or productive crew hours per visit is what it's doing is taking the um, estimated hours per visit and putting that number here and unproductive crew hours per visit is my drive time. So assuming this is my average hours per visit, and that's my average drive time, my schedule is good. If I need to change any of this, I can do that. 
um, but I'll leave it as it is for this video. So basically it's gonna schedule one hour and one minute, which also includes 12 minutes of unproductive time every time I need to go uh, hit this job. So we'll go next. And it just gives me a quick summary of that. And then I'll go next again. And now it creates the visits and it also applies a time factor to this visit. So the first application of fertilizer is, you know, I can do it in 25% less time than the average. That's what this time factor is saying. I only need 75% of the estimated man hours. So it'll schedule 49 minutes for the first fertilization. Grub control will take the average time. So it's one hour, one minute. Uh, compost tea takes more than the average time, 120. So it's one hour and 13 minutes. You can notice up here, I've only scheduled 6.1 out of a scheduled 6.5 or out of a supposed 6.5. So I'm a little bit short here. And you may want to review these and increase something if you need if you needed to. I could certainly, oops, I could certainly uh, crank up a few of these numbers if I wanted to get it closer. Obviously, you're going to do that as accurately as you can. But now let's say I'm very close to my estimated schedule time. Even with my time factor shifts, I'm good. I'll hit finish. And what it's going to do is create on those dates, those visits. So if I um, if I pull up the lawn care calendar for April 2015, you can see that on the um, Wednesday the 15th, for example, I've got the Alpha Bank. And if we look at that, there's the first application of fertilizer there. And if I move into the different days of April on the 30th, for example, there's Alpha Bank again. That's going to be the first application of grub control and so on and so on. A much easier way to see that job and what we've scheduled is to go to the job screen and go to Alpha Bank and then grab the schedule tab there. And what you can do is hit the details button under the lawn care. There's the different dates. There's who's completed it, if any have been completed. In this case, we just scheduled it so they won't be completing. And then we've got what calendar it's on and what the visit type is and what crew it's been scheduled to. So there's the schedule for that job. We can start changing that. If I know at any given day, I can drag and drop it on the schedule. I can come here and say, well, we're actually not going to hit this one until um, a different day. I can go to edit today and, and change, uh, move today's visit to a new date. Let's say we're going to get it on the Friday and set and apply the change. And there we go. I've got the new visit. So you can change the schedule at any point at any point in time, but at the beginning of the year, you want to get the basics set up for your lawn care, and that's how to add a job to the lawn care schedule.